Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for sharing with me today. You have a pulse, so you have a purpose. In Luke 17, Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. And the Bible says that he passed through the midst of Samaria in Galilee. And he came into a certain town and he was encountered by 10 men who were lepers. And they began to cry out to Jesus saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. And Jesus answered them, go show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Amen. I just believe that they came in on one accord together in agreement to get what they needed from the Lord. They were desperate that they were not going to let Jesus pass them by. Somebody better holler right there. Amen. I'm not going to let Jesus pass me by. I'm going to get what I need from the Lord. Amen. They got just what they needed from the and Lord. The Bible says, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified and God. He fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus asked him, were there not 10 cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God save this stranger. And Jesus told him to arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. What would you do? Would you continue to walk to go show yourselves to the priest like the other nine? Or would you be like the one that you would be so overwhelmed because Jesus has just answered your prayer? What would you do? Would you come back and lay prostrate before the Lord because of what he has done for you? Or would you continue to go show yourself the, to the priest so you can live the life that you left behind? When they needed something from the Lord, they were on one accord. When they got what they needed, they went on their way. What would you do? Would you continue to walk? Would you go? Or would you come back like the one? Jesus was looking for the nine just as much as he was looking for the one. He not only came back to say thank you, but to express his gratitude in his praise and worship to the Lord. You're still here in the midst of a pandemic. No matter what has happened all around you, you're still here. That's enough to say thank you. Have you said thank you today for the Lord waking you up this morning? Have you told him thank you for the food that's on your table? Have you told the Lord thank you for all that he has done for you and all that he didn't allow to happen to you? My original question was, what would you do? But knowing all that Jesus has done for you, what are you gonna do? Be blessed people of God.